necessarily a mean set. The convention center is now closed. Please leave via the nearest exit. Attendees are reminded that exhibitor merchandise is off limits. Oh, I got it. Wow. That was actually one of the best key cards I've gotten in a while. Trespassing is not permitted. Deviate short price has been noted. Please prepare for pauses. Okay, I think this is, this is definitely green. Could be gold. I don't know. Yeah, that's really good. I think my gold's a minus one, so it's just very, very, very slightly worse. Definitely a really good one. So I'm a full second ahead of my PB, so I'm already... So now I just need to save three seconds to get world record, I believe. So far, very promising. Creative director and president. Okay, that this was really good. This is Rafael Colantonio, creative director red, and president of Wolfi Studios, and I'm here today to tell you about our current game in development, Weird West. At its core, Weird West is an action RPG set in a fantasy reimagining of the Wild West. You play through the adventures of yes, five yes, heroes know, that wander. have intertwined destinies on a quest to unveil one of the biggest mysteries of the Weird West. That keeps me sane during While the we cutscenes. describe Weird West as an action RPG, phone, wow. some would actually refer to the game as an immersive sim. There are many elements that set Weird West apart from any other action RPG out there, and I would love to show you a few examples now. First, the simulation and sandbox nature of Weird West. The bulk of the team is composed of co-creators of Dishonored and Prey, so simulation is like a religion to us. It is in our DNA to let the players play their own way. Weird West is designed in a way that accommodates many playstyles and many playthroughs. Whether you like combat or trickery or stealth or a mix of all of that, you'll enjoy experimenting with the tools the game offers in a system-rich and physically simulated world. Next, the setting and visual direction. The setting is Weird West, you guessed it. It's an opportunity for us to explore a genre that has been kept underground, and we're excited about bringing our own take on it. As far as the visuals, we're going for a mix of 3D with hand-drawn textures and uncommon palettes that we think bring a unique style to the game. Uh, I got three. Uh, oh. That was the first. That was horrible. For a moment, I thought I missed the laser, which would have been pretty bad. Oh, I need to take a moment longer to find up the gun. It just means I risk hitting the laser if I try running straight through. Wow, I was further back, and somehow I got more accurate than I normally do. Feels like that was so totally normal. I don't know why. Yeah, that was really bad. There goes my second save. Behold, Blightbound, a cooperative dungeon crawler that tasks three heroes to They're venture down from their mountain refuge to face the abominations of the blight. A Not lovely. And corrupting fog that I can still save that land. time on. Shadow. Each player will choose Between Shadow and Fall Guys, I can save the time. Warrior. Forge so, 
I can still get world record if I get a really good boss and everything else is fine. Battle a terrifying horde of not monstrous promising. enemies and colossal bosses. Each class of hero fulfills a specific role on the team. Oh, that was bad. Still a point one save. And so we invite you to take a sneak loss. peek at the story, mechanics, and the challenges in our all new game, Olia. Olia is an action adventure game that takes place in the land of Terraphage, a lost world home to forgotten creatures, vast ruins, deep caverns, and rainforest topped islands. You are Faraday, a shipwreck captain. You follow his adventure to rescue his lost crewmen, leading them to a safe return to their homeland. Get a green on Sam. Now, on his pursuit of salvation, Faraday is guided to an ancient harpoon of great power. It awakens ancient enemies who slumbered in the depths of Terraphage. I'd like to introduce the world of Olir. Wild, dark, unpredictable as an ambiguous dream. You will venture through many different islands on your search for a way out. You will travel through jungles and caverns, visit sites of old relic and ruins. Each land presents new challenges and new opportunities for you on your quest to escape this shadowy land. Next, combat. Combat is at the forefront of Olea, with visceral systems that challenge the way you think about space. You can dash in purple. Yeah, I don't think I saved time on Sam. Maybe. That was pretty good. It was good. Oh, that was bad. Why did it? Oh, I wasn't looking at the screen. I, I think. Yeah, running into the pillar was what did it. Hell, it was awesome. So maybe looking at the screen the is, while outside your trigger zone might still be positive. Positive but meaning might trigger it sooner. I'm not sure. The wrong fucking planet. How can I test that? Okay, here's where I'm gonna try saving some time. Yeah, I lost time. I saved time somehow. I had a really bad fall guys before. So now I'm on pace with world record. I mean not according to my splits, but if I get shadow done well, I should get world record. I mean if I get shadow done and of course get a good boss. <laughs> That's the kind of kicker. For a moment, I thought I missed the trampoline. I was worried I got the edge. Just need to be careful not to lose my sprint. Because that's totally going to kill it. Okay, I got up. I got a really slow shadow. I think that's because I wasn't looking at the screen soon enough. Stranger, ah! you? I think I also stumbled a little bit on the way there, but this should get me on par. I'm currently Point three behind, I think. But then that saves that point three for sure. So I'm currently ahead of my PB. I think I'm ahead of world record, but I'm not sure about that. 
Let me grab this camera up here. here. Just for the lulls. There we go. Okay. Oh yeah, got it. Oh, uh -huh. okay. So wow, that's a really good gold split. Four point seven. That's by far my best boss. <laughs> I know why. Two ish, maybe one or two of those seconds was because of Shadow Warrior. I bet. Yeah. Merry Christmas. <laughs>